and welcome to Brogue. Brogue is a roguelike that doesn't that doesn't really want to hide it considering the fact that it has the word rogue inside the title. I'm not sure how it goes to, I'm not sure how uh, it compares to the original because I haven't played the original. From what I heard it's pretty um faithful to the original version. So we're gonna start a new game. And the first thing you probably see is one of these uh blood blood worth blood warts. Now don't be scared because it's a scary name. These things have when you burst walk into the pods, they burst with just like this healing mist which will uh well heal you. The first thing you also probably see is an item uh, that you that you got you fist as you got you see. Now every time you start a new game, you won't know what any of the items do, which means that you have to test them out, which can be dangerous because some of them can do things like set you on fire, make the ground and your feet just disappear, teleport you around places. And all that fun stuff. Alright, now, so we see a jackal. The jackal hasn't seen me because it's still wandering. If it starts to go hunting, that means it has seen me. In my adventure, you press I go inventory. In my adventure, you have a dagger, a little armor, some food, 15 darts, and the scroll is just picked up. The darts are your range attack. We can which you don't want to use, which you don't want to use in the first enemies you find, only in certain situations, because some enemies are just better to take care of at distance. Like there are these enemies called bloats, and what the bloats will do is that when you kill them or they attack you, they explode with some kind of gas, which can kill you real quick. See, see how now went to hunting? He has seen me. So I'm going to hit the jackal, and the jackal hits me back. I'm going to do so again, and now it's almost dead. And I killed him. Oh, damn. Like, the dense fault, the dense uh, plants here, will block your vision. So, if you ever play this game, you might want to watch out for that, because it can lead to in a bad, it can give you in a bad situation. Give you. Oh, by the way, this is a door. The point of this game is to get am Amulet, which whose name I somehow managed to forget, and you won't be allowed to leave the dungeon until you have the Amulet on you. I have never gotten the Amulet. The first I've ever gotten this game is about uh, level 7, and the Amulet's on level 26. So I'm going to so this situation, jackals on both sides. This isn't bad because at best, at best they could do is the best a jackal could do to me right now is kill me in seven hits. At best I could do, I could kill in two hits. So it isn't as bad as it could be, especially when you, especially when there's a blood wharf right here that I can just walk into if I need to. Uh, so the rat's sleeping. A sleeping enemy won't do anything until you manage to wake it up. Oh, and it's woken up. And in the top right corner, you see my health, nutrition, strength, armor, and stealth range. The health is uh, pretty self-explanatory. The nutrition is why you have some food. When nutrition, when nutrition gets low, you start taking damage. That's when you eat the food. The strength dictates how well you can use a weapon, a heavy weapon. If you're, strength, if you're not strong enough to use a weapon, then you will get debuffs. Well, not really debuffs, but um, the weapon won't be as good as it usually is. Now, this is a bog. In bogs, you may find an enemy called an eel. 
which can be hard to take care of because they usually always get the first hit off you because you know these you know they're swimming and they just get the first hit hit on you. In bogs, there's usually explosive gas, like right there. The explosive gas, I don't know. I never actually made them manage to get them explode, but I never use a fireball spell. I'm pretty sure if you use a fireball spell, they will explode. Now, I'm debating where not to go down there, because it might be an eel, as I said before, they're hard to deal with. Hmm. That was a waste of time. A lot of times, this game randomly generates, it makes it so that. Dangerous places have better items. Oh, I forgot. From what I, from what I noticed, when the enemy is sleeping, you will instantly kill it if you attack it. This question mark is a potion. You have no idea what potions do until you actually use them. You could simply click around to go into this fast travel mode, but you will automatically stop when you see a uh, you see something. All right, uh, this is gold. From what I from what I remember. If you manage to win the game, you can use gold to... Actually, I'm not sure what you use gold for. But it's gold, so you might as well collect it. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's gold. See, your health... Your health has this main bar, and under it has this, like, small... Has, like, this, a uh, smaller bar. The smaller bar, sh this, like, less color bar, shows what it will change to over time as I think that's what it is like I said I only got the level 7 out of level 26 you know you ever heard of, you know the term roguelike right it's used to describe games that are like the game rogue but if that's the official title for all games that are like this, then what do they call the original rogue? What, like, um, they can't call it rogue like because it is rogue. Oh, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. This is your stealth range. The stealth range. The stealth range tells you, uh, how many spaces your enemies have to be away before they start seeing you. Because my stealth range is now seven. An enemy about seven, wait one two three four five six seven. An enemy over here would see me, but an enemy right outside of that can't see me. Oh, what's this? Explosive gas. Whenever gas is released, acts like in this game, acts like it acts like real gas. It will spread everywhere it can. And there's different thickness levels of the gas that will change depending. That will change depending on on how much the gas gas has spread it. I want to tell you about the bloats. Well, the one you probably find the most is the pink bloat. When you kill that or it attacks you. It releases the, this pink gas that will kill everything that it touches. Now, the first thing you should come in contact with is a potion of strength, even if you don't know what it is. See how this um places a slightly is slightly different color than the rest. And usually means that there's different darkness levels. Like how right now in dark when the color is slightly different on the floor. 
but you probably can't see it because hey, you have to take a real close look. See, now I'm in light. My character changes slightly. And now stuff ranks up to 15. Which is not good. Now where have I have it been? This thing might have been expecting me to jump down a little bit. I better already passed the exit. I better already passed the downstairs case. So I just didn't notice. Just some reason you can't see it, but I have it past it, and no, that's not a good idea. If you dive into the depths, you take damage from the fall, but you and you never really know how deep this thing is. It could be one floor deep, or it could be ten, which means you automatically die when you hit the ground. Hit, it could be hidden one of the walls, but which one? And I'm just taking a guess here because I never actually encountered this happening ever. I like how in the first playthrough I actually record, I can't find the down staircase. <laughs> when every other one I got, I got down to like level five at least. That's a lie. A lot of the ones I got to like level two. Funny story. There's like this thing called the wand of polymorphism, where you can turn monsters into different kind of monster. So there's a monster called a monkey that steals your stuff, right? And I used the wand of polymorphism, not knowing what it was, because because I just didn't know what it was. Oh, here it is. And it turned the monkey into a tougher monster that would take 15 hits for it to, me to kill it, and three hits for it to kill me. So. That's just another reason to be careful of everything. Oh no, I did that. I didn't need, I didn't need a healing. Now, I bet you there's an eel in here somewhere. I bet you. was no eel or it's just on our side. Hmm. Well, I really hate those monkeys because you get because if you try to melee them, they will probably steal your items and run. I'm mean, gonna pull this ring and hope that it's not um cursed. Oh uh, ring of stuff, huh? What is this? Leather armor. Now, generally, leather armor you find inside the dungeon itself. Oh, yep, eel. That thing can kill me so fast. I might. Uh, wait, there's shallow water and murky water. 
when you're murky waters, your your eyes will sometimes like just flow outside of your pockets, and you have to swim them down. But by the time you swim them down, a different items already gone. Like so, you so much stuff that evil did to me. Made like that for you to actually fear them, for you to be reason that you that you don't want to actually walk into shallow water or bogs, bogs either. Now, there is a maximum range for your dart. I mean, minimum range for your dart. Wait, what? Oh no, maximum, <laughs> maximum range for your dart. So I don't think that if an enemy is all the way over here, you can actually hit it with a dart. But, but, it, but this, in this game, there's no man restriction. There's only a charge restriction. The charge dictates how many, how many, how many times a magic item can be used in one go. Most items that aren't upgraded with enchantments only have a charge of two. Yeah, upward. Now where have they haven't been? Well, I kind of want to use these, but I also kind of don't because one, if they're useful, I might just pretty much end up wasting them. I'm just gonna put on this other leather armor. Because this is, like I said, there's a chance that um, it's better than the one I already have. But the, yeah, I'm not sure what dawning armor does, but I'm not sure if it's a debuff or a buff. So I'm just gonna use these potions. The skill part is of like this flame potion that turns you and everything around you. Just completely on fire. Fire is like the worst thing to have in the game because you no, know, there's grass everywhere, and it can really just damage everything. God damn it! So, like I said, some of these potions are good, some are really bad. Without the potion of the tech magic, or scroll of the tech magic. You won't be able to tell which ones are bad or good for you. The ones that are blue or bad are good, even though you don't automatically know it. Like the tech magic, when you use it, and and a symbol appears next to the object, next to the object's name. If the object is good, the symbol is blue. If the object is bad, the symbol is purple. If you, but you still don't know what it does. But you know it's generally bad or good. Uh, that good thing I got rid of that eel because that thing will wreck my will wreck me if I just uh, if I just uh, just use that paralysis. I got paralyzed there. Which I probably would die if I didn't get rid of that eel. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. I was still checking potions. Items. <laughs> that portion of incineration, though. Wow, that's OP. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, so, oh, my high score is apparently level six. And uh, see that one, one up there? Uh, damn. 
until now if they start a new game. But you can't save your games. But once you die, the saves will automatically delete it. So. I still don't know the. Because the rings effect doesn't seem to be automatic. I don't know what it does at the moment. I am with staff. Staff are magical items, so are wands. There isn't much of a difference between staffs and wands, not that I can see. But well, it's not like you find an eel on the first floor, but you probably will on the second. So, yeah, just, just wanted to say that. Well, you think that if you use a push of acceleration, that jumping in water will help? Not really, because apparently the wa it boils the water so much that it just cooks you, basically. And, trust me, you don't want to be cooked. Oh, I caught unaware. There's also a wand called the Wand of Beckoning that basically goes like get over here to your enemies. And if they're if they were wandering when you used it, they'd be un they'd be surprised and you can instantly kill them if they're unaware. It's still wandering, I see. Yeah, I'm wandering, but it's still we are wondering but still coming after me. I don't think that enemies can see through other enemies. Because that that other kobold I can't pronounce these I can't pronounce these fantasy names was still unaware. Meaning that it couldn't see me. Now I got some banded ma mail. Which I don't have the strength to to use yet. I'll have a green potion and an iron staff and two scrolls. Now you can't you can't get allies in the game in the form of summons. like right there but I'm um, looking to see if there's anything I've missed which it doesn't seem to be so I'm just gonna run there the f oh I see a jackal I see a cardboard oh um, enemies can chase you up and down stairs like Kaibo did Kobold Kobold did So that's that's my that's my state one game. Now what's that pressure point like pressure plates activate when either you, an enemy, or item st drops on them. So I'm gonna throw us over here. And what did that do? You seem to have the ability to tell what a pressure plate does. Most times, while I have it, while I have actually having to interact with it, oh, these are iron manticles. Apparently, this monkey is a criminal, and the people, or the monsters of the dungeon, are punishing him. Surprised there isn't more ways to just interact with was that eel? Ah, oh, god damn it! I hate those things. As if I didn't make that clear already.
why is it giving the stats for me for it hitting me in a and hits was actually my ally. So the staff, so the Iron One staff is a staff of conjuration. And that summons these, it is one that summons these spectral swords. So. Which don't seem to actually follow me. Huh, but how long do they last? So it never sleeps and... But, oh, I guess they last until they're destroyed. But they don't actually follow me. Oh, that's a blow I told you about. You just don't want to go anywhere near them, but I'm just going to throw this fucking hell. Oh, oh yeah, it's hunting, but they can't seem to move straight, so I'm just going to throw it. Up. Okay. Let's try to sp Oh, staff of totally. That, that can come in handy sooner or later. But you never, but you're never sure how many charges these things have, because you just don't know. And that's the gas I told you about. And the gas is following me. Well, not really following, just spraying like no, like normal gas would. And the spectral breeds are going in there for some reason, and dying. I'm just gonna wait for the gas to kill, clear out, come back, and all that good stuff. No, I am locked iron door. So that thing probably opened the key somewhere. You know how a lot of these locked iron doors, you find like five items that you can only choose one? Because once you choose one, the others just, a cage closes around the others. So, making your choice, uh, Pretty important. You basically just have to basic and they're basically all different kind of items. Like usually one's an attack item, one's a support items, one's uh yeah, just different kind of items. Some are defensive, some are like the like the staff at some are like the staff at tunneling, which is changed mess switch or environment. I don't think I'm gonna go use a fireball though, because if you have to, if you have to fight enemy inside a bog, and the only thing you could beat use the beetles of staff of fire, using staff of staff staff of fire, you're basically screwed because I'm pretty sure that these things will cause a massive explosion. I'm not exactly sure how they work. They just turn everything on fire. Yeah, that special special blades have all died. Hmm. Cause I'm just over here now. I call them. Hmm. A oh, rapier is probably your best bet in the first for you to find in, in this game in the first few levels because rapiers don't take a lot of strength and but they do and they do a lot and they do pretty decent damage uh, uh, wait, how come I see? oh I didn't get, need to get the key I had a stuff of tunnel and he just brawled through the door I think he just brawled through the wall Like you have to remember what you actually have and what they could do. Like a staff of shattering will just sit, will break, will just destroy every wall near you. Like all of this, all these walls will just dissolve over time, which can be you, 
which can help you get away from from uh, getting jumped by monsters. Hmm. Let's see. A recharging tub. I don't have my strength to use as an item, but trick make. This could be useful, but let's see what else you got here. This is a support of items to use on your allies. Make so they hit better. Recharging time or stuff and transmit. These, this, uh, I can use this to recharge the stats I have, but this can be extremely useful. I think we'll take the recharging charm because it seems that uh, they're probably gonna have a lot of uh, stats if I get if I get enough that will just simply run out of ammunition. Let me just call it. So because I found because the cages fall down when you pick up one of these items in the carpeted areas, you can only pick up one. Confusion. Oh, this gas. This trap releases gas that hurts you. Well, we usually find the the vent by now. And that's probably a net trap. Yep, a net trap. What nets do is so they stop your movement. Then so you have to destroy it, then, then move. But since the net traps traps this whole area in a net, and you move, you move into another net. Remember, you, remember, you can use a dart to set these off so they can, so they can be used against your enemies. Mm. Just be sure not to step in this. But you never exactly know the maximum range that the trap has. And I got two rations of food. Like a whole rat, uh, like only a small ration but feels their whole nutrition day. Oh, monkeys. I forgot to equip this. Oh, wait, no. Damn it, he saw me. Use a staff of conjuring on him. Hmm. Seems that like the enemies will, will just attack the friendlies closest to them. As I've seen before, when I used a guardian charm, as someone's a guardian. Which is just you go summon one at a time with their last strong and special blades. The enemies attack the guards that have made because it was closer. So they can be useful for getting rid of enemies. So the dart hit the monkey, but still went flying. But still. But then it's stuck inside his flesh. Throwing actual weapons like like uh the dagger you have would do more damage than darts. So collecting daggers can be helpful. But I once wasted a dagger that will be extremely useful for me because I already had one. Basically, like a dagger, like I think stealth, 
which because of the armor I was wearing, I was less stealthy than before. So it would be actually useful. But because I do it, it w I wasted it on the enemy because you no know, some reason it disappears on that. Like it just completely disappears out of existence when it hits an enemy. So it's been 35 minutes. I want to start recording now. Uh, have a good day.